Sebai Kata originated in Fuxia, southern China. The renowned Okinawan master, Kanyo Hidomo, studied the martial arts in Fuxia from 1868 to 1881. It was at this time that he learned the Kata of Guo Jiu from the legendary Chinese master, Liu Liu Ko. On his return to Okinawa, Master Higa Onna passed on these kata to his top student, Master Kyojo Miyagi. Master Miyagi in turn passed on these kata to his protege, Master Anish Miyagi. He in his turn then passed them on to Master Morio Higa Onna in their complete and original form, together with the profound martial meanings which they represent. Sebai Kata is characterized by dynamic and powerful techniques. This is a typical example of Goju Ryu Kata with its contrast between hard and soft, fast and slow, and large and small techniques. Master Higa Onna recalls his senpai, Higa Saburo Sensei, whose kata was a superb example of Sepai Kata at its most impressive and beautiful. Sepai Kata contains many techniques for fighting at close range. These are specifically Hazushiwaza for freeing techniques against attacks from the front and the rear. Techniques effective in both attack and defense, and also joint locking techniques, and reverse techniques to defend against joint locking techniques. As in other Gojuryu Kata, there are a variety of circular techniques. However, there are also techniques which are unique to Sepai Kata, such as Geran Furiyuchi and Furiski. Now Master Higuono will explain in detail the important points of Sepai Kata. Freeing technique. This technique is not simply a performance of physical movements. It also teaches the use of psychological tactics against an opponent. To illustrate this, in this example, Master Higona wants to push away his opponent. To achieve this, he first pulls his opponent towards him. His opponent then reacts by pulling in the other direction. This creates the ideal opportunity for Master Higona to use his opponent's strength to gain the advantage and push him away. This technique exploits the natural instinct of all human beings to pull when being pushed and to push when being pulled. This technique uses a twisting circular motion to break free from the hole. For a large opponent, it is better to use a bigger movement. If the opponent is too strong, it will through the eyes or throat. The elbow or the free arm can also be used. In kata, the left hand slides down the right arm in a fast but heavy sticky movement. Imagine breaking a wrist hold as you perform this movement. This technique is similar to Hazushiwaza in Sanseiru kata. This arm locking technique is followed by a reverse technique called Kurawaza. As the opponent tries to pull free, move his the hip, spin around to follow his movement, strike the groin area. This technique is unique to Sepai Kata. The opponent's arm must be held tight against the side by locking the muscles tight and keeping the elbow close to the body. Ashibarai in Sepai Kata is performed differently from that in other kata. The sweeping motion is large and exaggerated and the foot stamps down hard. As the foot stamps down, imagine striking to the heart of a thrown opponent. The type of movement of the punching arm and blocking arm is different. The blocking arm is moved in a short, powerful motion to the side, whereas the punching arm is moved in a circular motion with all the joints in the arm free of tension until the moment of focus. Suriashi or sliding step must be performed smoothly and with speed. The soles of the feet stay in light contact with the floor at all times.
When moving at the 45 degree angle is shown, the body is angled so that you do not face the opponent squarely on. Duck down slightly and move in fast. Then push away. Now in this technique comes the direct breathing, not muscular strength alone. First inhale, hold the breath, then move in. Exhale after completing the movement. Correct breathing is essential in the performance of Sepai Kata. If you concentrate on breathing correctly in practice, this will result in focused and effective technique. In Hirakuchi, the thumb is held tight against the side of the hand. Snap the wrist down and back as the hips snap forward in the opposite direction. This technique is unique to Seppai Kata. The hips must twist with speed while pivoting on the balls of the feet as the wrist snaps back and down in the opposite direction. This technique, which is a part of Koriguchi, is the form of the feeling of catching an opponent's punch and then pulling him forward. If you practice with this in mind, then the technique will follow. Tighten the palm and thumb and concentrate on the fingers as the hand is pulled back. With correct concentration, this simple movement will come to life. Execute the circular block with Mukimi. Then pull down hard and follow with Geranuchi. After pulling down, release tension from the arms and bring the arms down in a circular motion. Focus strength as the hands meet. It is essential to perform Geran Uchi with the arms free of tension until the final instant. Seppai Kata is a Kaishu Gata. This means that the tension in the body is not held constant. When moving between techniques, the body is free of tension to allow for the natural movement. At the point of focus of each technique, the tanden is tightened and the power is concentrated at the point of impact. Correct concentration in the tanden is necessary to achieve correct focus in the Kata. Breathing and movement must be harmonized together. The breath is expelled from the tanden and this is combined with the external muscular strength to be concentrated at the instant the technique is focused. Understanding this principle through diligent practice will result in correctly focused kata and effective technique. It is an essential feature of all kaishu gata from Gekusei Daichi through to the most advanced kata to put in pay. This concludes the introduction to Seppai Kata.